here with Jared Aberderis, wide receiver from Wisconsin. Jared, talk about how you felt uh, getting back into the groove of things out there at practice today. How did you feel the environment was? I felt like it was competitive. Um, I thought you know, everybody obviously out here wants to be here. Uh, people are competing. Um, everybody kind of has that edge. So I thought it was a good day. Um, you know, it's been been a while since we put the pads on and you know ran ran around and threw the football. So um, it felt good to get back out there and get a little bit of rust off the first day. What are you looking forward to showing scouts about your game? Is there a couple of questions you want to answer, or is there something that you want to show them when you leave here? What is your goal that NFL scouts know about Jared Aberdares? Um, I think for me, you know, just keep working on releases. Um, that's something that. I think every every wide receiver can keep improving on, um, and then also just route running, you know, getting open and just catching everything thrown your way. Um, you know, that's something that every wide receiver has to be able to do. Uh, you know, is there uh, a particular like moment, like you know, a lot of people point to you with the Ohio State game that you just kind of went off. Like, what did that, did that game in particular help you? You know, as far as confidence-wise throughout the rest of the year, you've been putting up numbers forever. And I think that's when people kind of. You started to know about you. Yeah, I would, I would say just you know, it's just about when people started know about knowing about me. Um, I've had confidence, you know, in my, in my game the past couple of years. So I don't think that really was a, a conf confidence boost or anything like that. It was just more so, um, you know, it was a night game. You know, the whole whole you know world was basically watching. So um, just a lot of exposure in that game. Is there anybody you went up against today that kind of got your attention on the other side of the ball at DB that kind of uh, impressed you today? Um, there was a couple guys, but. Um, you know, I think they all did a pretty good job. There wasn't, I don't think, one guy, to me at least, that stood out. I mean, I thought a lot of them did a good job, though. Can you talk about the program that you guys, you're leaving behind at Wisconsin? Obviously, Coach Anderson comes in. You still have that measure of success. Didn't make it to the Rose Bowl, but what can Badgers fans expect? There are a couple of guys that should be looking out that maybe could be here next year or the year after. Well, um, I think Coach Anderson did a great job with us, you know, first coming in as a new coach, a new staff trying to, you know, Meld everything together. Um, so I thought, thought he did a good job, and I think he's only going to take um, the program to the next level. Um, and, and there's a bunch of guys on that team. Obviously, you know, Melvin Gordon kind of leads that. Um, you know, he's a, a great running back that you know can do some special things. Um, and I think obviously he'll be, you know, I think probably the best guy that comes you know to Wisconsin, and, and he'll be here when he. I mean, if he decides to come out, obviously he won't. But um, if he stays one more year, you know, he'll for sure be here. Got a Super Bowl pick. I mean, I got Monty Ball on one team, and then I got a whole bunch of Badgers on the other. So either way, I'm happy. Sounds good, man.